Hi, it's Jackster here with another film review. Today I will be reviewing my friend DBG Channel's latest movie, Happy Wheels 2, Virtual Madness, which is the sequel to Happy Wheels, Chaos Ensues, 2018. Both films are based on the online game created by Jim Bonacci. Coming back to Chaos Ensues, at the time, it was DBG's best project. Despite some flaws like a rushed story and a lack of characters from the original source material, but thanks to the well-written story, great animation and likable characters, it was a great time. The movie was pretty well received and, it was worthy of a sequel, which is what I'll be reviewing today. Of course, being a sequel, the big task it faces is to surpass the original in terms of overall quality, which is tough, unless your movie is Toy Story or How to Train Your Dragon. And before we get into the review, be warned of some major spoilers coming up ahead. So, now that we will be rejoining the crew at the Happy Wheels studio, will the virtual madness spark a film that will live up to its predecessor? Or will this all be a repeat of Lazy Town 2? Which, if you don't know, is a mediocre film in my opinion. But anyways, let's see. This film's plot goes as follows, after the events of chaos ensues, the crew at the Happy Wheels studio begin development of a brand new virtual reality video game, but, the villain from this film's predecessor, Marty Chris, returns. He hacks into the studio's files, steals the game from the studio, and develops insanely hard levels for the crew to play in order to get the game back. Like chaos ensues, the film still has a plot that is easy to follow and it can be generally fun to watch as it goes along. There's no sign of cliches anywhere, or at least ones that can be very obvious. The humor works pretty well, and while the main villain's return in a sequel isn't the newest concept, it's handled so much better than the generic revenge story used in Lazy Town 2. The plot also flows mostly well, with some engaging action sequences and some unpredictable outcomes, and the movie feels a lot less rushed than chaos ensues, given that the running time is a massive increase from its predecessor. Happy Wheels 2 is 84 minutes, while Chaos Ensues was 50 minutes. Therefore, Happy Wheels 2 has a little more creative freedom and possible development with the extra time it has. If there's a little nitpick I have with the story though, it isn't major, but it can feel like the plot starts off a little bit on the slow side. The action doesn't really come in until around part 9 or 10. It is a good thing the film presented us with a long, epic final battle at the end of the movie to really raise the tension, and it thankfully isn't long up to the point that it gets rather tedious. Maybe the film was saving all of the action and intensity for the final battle. And, another bit of praise I'd like to add, is that usually, DBG Channel's movie endings are a bit on the rushed side, but the editing for this movie is actually looked upon. It doesn't feel like it was written out in 10 seconds, and it doesn't last for like 50 seconds. So, kudos to DBG for that. And, according to DBG Channel, Mountain Dew MLG assisted making this movie with him, so I think he more than deserves credit here as well. It did take a bit of time to get there, but when it did, the storyline didn't disappoint. I'm going to give the storyline a 9 out of 10. Chaos Ensues did have some great animation back when it was first released, but, it is starting to show its age a little for Plotagon standards, it isn't too dated at the moment, but with all the new features Plotagon has added since the film's release, you will likely know what I mean. And, while Happy Wheels 2 started production in June last year, the animation in the earlier parts are still good enough for Plotagon standards now, so, there won't be any points deducted at the moment. Moving on to the animation as a whole, for the whole movie, this is another part where Happy Wheels 2 shines. Given the technology has a big involvement with the plot of this film, it'd have to have some good visuals, and thankfully the visuals are good. The character animation is as smooth as ever, the effects are nice, the character designs are well done, the lip sync is on point. And while there are a couple of animation glitches in the film, like the floating head glitch, and a character's chin looking unnaturally out of place when they enter a scene, the glitches do not appear that much in the film, and I'm not gonna deduct points for that because those are glitches in Plotagon, not something that DBG Channel caused. 
the animation can really get detailed when the action scenes commence, and, I noticed that DBG Channel had also used Windows 10 Video Editor for parts of the final battle, which is the editing software I use. Yeah, it kinda does show that DBG just have to get used to the software, but given that he's more used to our movie, the use of the effects in this film aren't that bad. This does mark a visual improvement over Chaos Ensues, given how the possibilities had been expanded for this film's visuals, and they should age a little better too. DBG has once again failed to disappoint with this animation, but, the thing is, will he ever do so? No chance. This animation easily gets a 10 out of 10. In Happy Wheels, Chaos Ensues, we were given some great incarnations of the characters we know and love from the original game, but there was only one fault with them, and no, it wasn't the fact that they were generic, flat or one-dimensional, because they aren't. It was just that not much of the original game's characters appeared in the film, which disappointed me a little. In Happy Wheels too though, I can say that these characters have thankfully not overstayed their welcome. Pretty much all of the characters retain their strong qualities from the first movie. They can be bright, they aren't the generic in any way, a lot of them serve a major purpose, and the intense action sequences give a lot of the characters a decent amount of depth, like in the first film. Also, the script is actually really funny in here, I was laughing at quite a decent amount of the dialogue, and the mid-credits scene nearly hit me in tears because of how funny it was. Marty Chris is still an enjoyable villain, the characters get a little more screen time thanks to the extended length, and, there are actually a few more characters from the original game, which was something that Chaos and Suze lacked. Sure, they don't have tons of screen time, but they can be fairly admirable for how they are characterized. There are also a few cameos from fellow Plotagon users, including me, Plotagon2000 and Mountain Dew MLG, and we aren't wasted to just very brief moments because those cameos would just be a gimmick if that were the case. And, we also got a cameo from the lawnmower guy, or, Minty Fresh, which was nice. I also like the added touch of him thinking that he's a major rapper slash actor, and Minty Fresh, I'll admit, is a fairly creative name for a rapper of this day and age, despite my hatred for modern music. There aren't many new original characters, but I won't really complain given that we now have more characters from the original game in this film. I will have to say that I haven't given an overview of the characters for two reasons. One, because I don't really want to give spoilers, because I'd also explain what they do in the film, and two, I kind of already did explain their personalities and purposes in my review for Chaos Ensues, which I will link in the description. I'm so glad to say that these characters are still a blast to be with, and there are thankfully some enjoyable new additions to the cast as well. I'll give the characters a 10 out of 10. I was praying for this sequel to not end up like Lazy Town 2, and thankfully what I saw from Happy Wheels 2, did not disappoint me at all. Happy Wheels 2, Virtual Madness is one of those sequels that manages to improve on its predecessor, with a very engaging and intense story, great animation, solid humor, a great script, and a bright and very enjoyable cast of characters. Sure, the story doesn't exactly get off to a fast start, but when it got there, it more than impressed me. As for recommendations, I think pretty much all my subscribers should watch this film, and fans of Chaos and Suze should definitely love her even at the very least, like this film, same deal with Happy Wheels fans. I'd say that even if Jim Bonacci perhaps, looked upon this and Chaos and Suze, I think even he'd get a little something out of those two films. This, is one of DBG's best works, this, is Lazy Town 2 done right, and finally, this, is a sequel that improves on its predecessor. Happy Wheels 2, Virtual Madness has gained a total of 29 points out of a possible 30, which translates to an overall score of 9.5 out of 10. I hope you enjoyed this movie review, if you did, make sure to hit the like button down below. If you're a new viewer and you're enjoying my content, consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the bell icon in order to be notified of any future content I post. Also, before I end this video off, I have something to say. Remember the film food fight? I don't think you want to. I think we can all agree that the visuals are nightmare inducing. But, I have just found something that makes food fight. 
looks like the Mona Lisa. And, I'll be doing a reaction video on it. I won't reveal what it is yet, because I'm saving that for a certain time of the year. But all I can say is, it's a Christmas special. And I've heard that it's the worst one ever. I wouldn't get worried about it now though, there's still four more months to go before the appropriate time to review this seemingly abysmal thing. Once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye for now. Subscribe by clicking on my profile picture that has just popped up, and click on this profile picture that has just popped up to subscribe to my amazing friend, DBG channel, and click on these two squares that have popped up to check out my latest video and our random video for a bit of variety. See you in the next video.